wonder how many times we're stopping God from supersizing our life because we don't believe it will happen. We let our circumstances, what we can see, what's happened in the past, talk us out of it. But your mind may tell you that you've reached your limits. You've gone as far as you can go. But if you'll listen down in here, you'll hear another voice saying, increase is coming. Favor is coming. Healing is coming. Promotion is coming. Don't worry. Your time is coming. When your anointing catches up with your appointing, supernatural things will happen. Supernatural increase. Supernatural growth. Supernatural favor. Just because you don't see a way doesn't mean God doesn't have a way. Right now, he's working behind the scenes in your life. You wouldn't be alive if he didn't have something amazing in front of you. Why do you think the enemy's trying to stop you? He doesn't bother people that are not a threat. He wouldn't waste his time on you if he didn't know you were a world changer, a history maker, that you have seeds of greatness. He knows God is about to open doors bigger than you've dreamed. You're about to step into new levels of your destiny. You're struggling in finances. Nobody in your family has gotten ahead. Don't get satisfied with cheese and crackers. Abundance has been paid for. New levels are in your future. This is a new day. That mountain is about to be turned to a molehill. God is about to flatten some things out. He's about to remove some obstacles. What used to hold you back is not going to limit you anymore. People that weren't for you, suddenly they're out of your path. You can cancel out what God wants to do by doubt, by negative thinking. Why don't you be a believer and not a doubter? Why don't you get in agreement with God and say, God, I believe what you promised that a turnaround is coming in my health, in my finances, my relationships, my career. Whatever you think is permanent, that you could never get past, you need to see that mountain being turned into a molehill. Your words have creative power. If you want to get well, say so. If you want to break that addiction, say so. If you want to accomplish your dreams, say so. There may not be any sign of it, but like Elijah, you need to announce to people, I'm blessed, I'm free. We're going to have this baby. We're going to move into that new house. Our son is going to do great things. Are you sure? I thought your son was off course. I thought he was running with the wrong crowd, getting into trouble. Yes, but that's temporary. That's subject to change. That's what you see with your eyes. But what I heard in my spirit is as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. If you'll start announcing what you heard, not arrogantly, not like a know-it-all, but in humility, with the quiet confidence, that's your faith being released. That's what allows God to do great things. You can limit what God wants to do in your life by doubt, negativity, speaking defeat. My business is never going to grow. I'll never meet the right person. I hadn't had a date in years. Have you seen all that I've been through? You are canceling out the prophecy. You may have obstacles that look too big. You don't see how you can accomplish that dream. Feels like you're stuck. You're in captivity, restricted by your environment. God is saying to you what he said to them. I am doing a new thing. I am making rivers in those deserts. I'm turning the barren places into fertile ground. Now get in agreement with God. Yes, Lord, this is for me today. I receive it into my spirit. I'm getting ready for something new. What God has for you is already set in motion. This new thing is already in process. There are promotions, healings, breakthroughs, divine connections that have already sprung forth. They're already en route. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not coming. This is where your faith has to kick in. There should be an expectancy. He already has a solution to the problem that's holding you back. He's already arranged restoration for that loss a new beginning for that setback, promotion for that injustice. It's already on the schedule. It's just a matter of time before you see the scales tip in your favor. Now, when those lies come saying, God has forgotten about you, it's never going to work out, you've seen your best days, just say, no thanks, I know a secret. This may be difficult, it's not fair, 
but this is not how my story ends. Favor is in my future. Good breaks are headed my way. The right people are tracking me down. It's so important how we see ourselves. Your self-image will determine whether you reach your full potential. And if you see yourself lacking, at a disadvantage, not attractive, it will limit your life. It's not that you don't have great potential, it's your self-image is distorted. When God put the promise in your heart, when he gave you that dream, he determined the right time to bring it to pass. He's already scheduled your healing, your breakthrough, your promotion. There are right time moments in your future where things will fall into place. The right people will show up, the opportunity will find you. God will put dreams in your heart that you can't accomplish on your own. Don't be intimidated. God is setting you up for a transfer. He's put the right people in your path, people that will use their influence to thrust you ahead. You may not have the experience, the funds, the connections, but God does. You're just one transfer away from seeing that dream come to pass. One transfer and you'll pay your house off. One transfer and your business will take off. I believe many of you are close to seeing this happen. You wouldn't be hearing this if there wasn't a transfer on the way. Now, don't talk yourself out of it. God doesn't give big dreams to small people. There is greatness in you. There are new levels in you. There is a world changer in you. There is a history maker in you. That's why God put something big in you. He knows what you're capable of. This is something I've learned so strongly, especially the last 20 years. I won't go against what I'm feeling on the inside. I trust my sensor. That's where God speaks to you. It may seem impossible. The odds are against us. All the circumstances say it's not going to happen. But if you have peace, that knowing, take that step of faith. When you develop this skill of listening to the whisper, following that still, small voice, God will not only take you further, but he'll protect you from things that would have caused you heartache and pain. Pay attention to the whispers, especially when it won't go away, keeps coming back. That's God speaking to you. At the mall, you don't feel good about that purchase. You don't override it. You put it back. At home, you feel that prompting to spend time with your child. You turn the TV off and obey. At work, something says, don't hang around that person. You feel uneasy. The alarm is going off. You don't reason it out. Oh, they look fine to me. You trust your sensor. To be obedient, you have to give your ear to what God is saying. You have to be a listener. Be sensitive to the whisper. What are you feeling in your spirit? It may not be words, just a knowing. When you not only pray, but you take it a step further and you receive your healing, in the unseen realm, things begin to happen. But if the healing, the freedom, the promotion, the breakthroughs are always in your future, then you haven't received it into your spirit. What God is going to bring to pass is not what you ask for, but what you believe you receive when you pray. Are you receiving when you're believing? Not just God, I'm asking you to free me from this addiction, help me to break this bad habit, that's good, but that in itself is not enough. Follow it up with, Lord, I receive your freedom. Lord, thank you that I am free. Not I'm going to be free. I'm hoping one day to break the addiction. I'm really struggling in this area. No, it's already happened. When you prayed, you not only believed, but you received it. Now change your report from I'm hoping to, to it's already done. It's just a matter of time before what happened in the unseen realm shows up in the natural realm. See, you have to be healed in your spirit before you'll be healed in your body. You have to be prosperous in your spirit before you'll be prosperous in the natural. And if you believe that it's going to happen sometimes in the future, then there's no promise that it's going to happen. You have to receive it when you believe.